So again, for anybody who wasn't here, it shows military time, 743. That is not synced. It's probably closer to 830 at that time, actual time. You can see there's no food. There's no alcohol in front of them. There's all glasses of water. Glasses of water, everything. We're done drinking. We're done eating. We're there's sitting there empty talking. empty cocktail glasses. You can see the restaurant is full. There's no empty table. You can see another African-American table behind. Right there. They indicated there are no African-Americans. There are two African-American people sitting right there. There's actually ten in the restaurant. The We are on a wait. We, we, use a, we use an iPad called Wait List Me. Here comes the manager. Everything okay this evening? Manager is five foot good. tall, just so you get a size. Everything's great. We can move you over. She sees she gestures over to the beam, which is a waiting area or a cocktail area if you'd like. They say they're fine. Oh, over there, yeah. So they weren't asked to leave, they are asked to relocate. The front door would be, you know, out would be this way. So there, she's asking them to come over here where they can enjoy a drink. You want to show the rest of the restaurant at that time? Or? You can see we have guests waiting. They're checking the iPad right now, which is called Waitlist Me. If you come into the restaurant, you put your phone number in, we text you when the table's ready. <coughs> you can leave the property. You don't have to be on property to wait in line. So the couple <coughs> sitting there, you're going to see the entire time, generally, that are waiting, but a bunch of people are waiting out in their car or waiting down the street or wherever. And you can see the other African-American customers in the back, the lady in the red. And on the other side, there, there, and down here. So there are multiple couples who are African-American in the restaurant. They claim they were the only black customers there. That's absolutely untrue. And in order to go to the bathroom and in order to go after the manager, they had to necessarily pass the other black customers. There's absolutely no way they could have missed that unless, well, there's no way they could have missed that. So there she's going to, to cash out, right? Is that her debit or credit? And she runs that at 8.35 p.m. They've been there just over two hours at that time. That other couple's not with them, right? At the bar? Correct. No. Separate couple okay. there, separate group here. You can see everybody at the bar is drinking alcohol. Everybody has a glass of alcohol in their hand. There's were they at the bar for two hours or did they sit at the table? The bar. At, at the bar. That's where they ate and drank. For what it's worth, the woman claimed she had one drink. The bill appears to indicate that that was not accurate. Not that it's a big deal, but there's a number of credibility issues here tonight. One is how much alcohol was had. That is just one of her credibility problems. So there's quite a bit of length of time since the manager has asked them to um, relocate inside the restaurant. And you can see that this time is still going on. Well, then my question to you is why did the manager go up to them in the first place? Because our restaurant is full. Every space in there um, is a place to for guests to eat, right? So we have guests waiting. What you don't see in the picture is that this couple here has their two wives or significant others behind them that would probably like to join her and sit down. You also see this gentleman's with these three people. He'd probably also like to sit down. I'm speculating here, but but the area needs to um, be vacated if you're, if, you're, if you're done, and so to speak. Not so that people waiting, we also have people waiting. In these front two of the are waiting to eat as at well. A, at we a also spot. have several other people on, on waitlist me that would like to come in and eat. So people are waiting, they're continually getting antsy, hungry, you know, when you're hungry, you want to eat. And a lot of the people will leave while they're on the wait list. If they don't get called back after a certain point of time, they're going to leave. And, and that's we're not lost. asking anybody to leave. We're just asking to free up space, be considerate for others um, so that we can continue that, you know, the servers can get tips and the bartenders can make tips, whatever it is, and that the people waiting can eat. Um, and it, it's never to leave. It's to relocate. Oh, you know, I'm so confused because if, they, if they've been eating there and drinking there, why are you asking them to move in the first place? You know so they saying? can go over to the side where right they can there. still continue to drink, and so but you can lines. open up those three but spots. I understand if you want to save spots in the dining area, but at the bar, isn't that what the bar is for? It's for eating no, and drinking. Eating. We're not a lounge. We're not a coffee house. We're a restaurant. It's predominantly to serve food. That's our, the, our, our sales versus alcohol versus food are a big difference. Food is the predominant factor. What they're trying to do is get three new people there to <laughs> eat food. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's on the menu as well, the policy. 
Well, where are you asking them to relocate to? To the beam. Right here. Right here. It's like a little... Those are, those are stools there, it's a, it's and a, there's a little a bar along it's there where they could, they could set their drinks, have another cocktail. It's not a place to eat. It's not an eating area. You it's, wouldn't have room a for a plate, area. but you would have room for a glass. So one, the, the woman who paid has left. The other woman um, went to the bathroom. Went to the bathroom. As you can see here, another African American couple right there that they claim were not in the restaurant. She, they're certain of that. They're the only black people in the restaurant. Eight thirty. Eight thirty-five. But the police report says that they got a call from the restaurant at eight fifteen or eight ten. I don't think that's accurate, based on the time of the checkout. Yeah, I think So you see the managers, the the, the, the gal right there. She what she does is seats people, but she also buses tables. She's working that that. She's um, the hostess. She's the hostess. So part. Part of her job is clearing tables. So just as these guys get done, another table gets done there. We've got more people coming in, waiting at the edge there, who want to get a table where they can eat. And now we have to clear that table where the little Red Wing fan is leaving so that the, we can sit some people there. The claim of the three ladies is there are numerous empty tables throughout the bar. Are they getting ready to leave or? Mm -hmm. No, they're getting excited. We got a few more minutes. They're asking to see the manager. She's going to summon the manager. Manager's bussing that other table that just opened up and is, wants to seat some of these folks. These folks are all waiting for tables here and patiently, there. and those there. So there's six people at least waiting for tables in the restaurant. This is our list to check on other people that we can text who are also on a waiting list. So you see the manager bussing that table, doing her part of her job, trying <laughs> to get that empty so she can put fresh uh, people there. Now remember, the ladies claim they were assaulted by the little manager. I just want you to keep that in mind. An assault in Michigan is any unwanted touching, and I will ask you to show me, please, if you see that. And they filed a police report with the Gross Point Farms Police claiming that she physically assaulted them. Has the police seen this video yet? They did last night. Guess who got, well, right. <laughs> I'll say no more. Right. Or this morning, strike that. They yeah, saw right. it this morning. morning. I saw it last night. They saw it this morning. Excuse me. And where's the third woman at this time? She never comes back. She left. She left. It's just yeah. these two. Sorry for the wall. That's this is the stuff I said we should. <laughs> <laughs> Process. So they're waiting there to talk to me, Andrew. And she just walked over there. She finished setting the table. She comes back in like two seconds. So she's cleared the table. She set the table. She Got wants to get some of those sets up. Here she comes up. <laughs> so she's hearing from these two. Can we leave it on the other one? I think yeah. the other one was better. Yeah, I was going to say it. Yeah, back yeah up that's up better. Can we back it up? No, just kidding. Okay. 
There she goes. Turn away from the front of the restaurant because that's our carryout area. That's where when people come in and pick up their food. This is where she's down in the left hand corner. Right here. So she says, come over here and let me have a process. So she's, she has been unable to seat those three tables or three seats that they just vacated because she's dealing with them. And now we can't text anybody and let them know that we have other seats available as well because that's her job to. Now uh, you see, notice, them. notice, you're going to see a lot of this. The <clears throat> young lady, Prater, sticks her finger in Catherine's face repeatedly. She doesn't strike her, but but if, if the claim is, again, that Catherine is assaulting them physically, that's their claim. Who's, who's aggressing on who? Who's intimidating who? Who's larger than who? Who's two on one? Do you have another camera that's not taking yeah. shit? Server tries to talk to her manager. But now these ladies are getting real animated and yelling and talking at real high volume and affecting every other diner's experience at this point within earshot. American women are still at the table, the two top table, and they're not uh, overhearing, obviously. Right, look at that, look at that. Now, and you know what we didn't point out is there are, I think, two other African American groups in the, uh, in the old side of the bar to the claim that there were no other African Americans in the restaurant. The other girl left and doesn't come back either. Everybody We're pretty busy. We're pretty packed. There's no open tables. There's a wait. At yeah. least one of these couples could have been seated at the bar if Catherine had an opportunity to talk to them and, and deal see with they them. They do get seated at the bar when Catherine gets a time to do it. So which one of these are we supposed to be looking at since there's... Well, point them up, uh, Dave, the Seven two screens. sitting up against on the stools. Um, up the front. Up here? Carry are out. all the people waiting? Yeah. This one? All these people? Yeah, those but, two but actually go sitting at the bar once Catherine gets yeah, yeah. Show me, Show me this really quickly. We'll, we'll do it again for you. Okay. So okay. here's what we have. We have another uh, African-American couple yeah, sitting there, African-American right person here. sitting there. No. And the claim is, again, that there are no, no African-Americans in the, in the bar at all. They, they were singled so out. Ms. Prater has left at this time. Everybody has left the property. I can fast forward a little bit. They're gone it's on the a property. a little bit of time here before she comes back in and asks for the business. Yeah, why don't you? They come back at, at, a, at a pretty good length of time, come back into the restaurant. They're not done. It's about... Oh, they're not done? No, no. no it's not done. They're not done. It's a good 10 to 15 minutes. So as you can see, they're still busy. New new customers coming okay, in. Customers. Back in. Okay, she's back. Can you rewind that? Yeah, and make that big. And that make it big. Yeah. That she's coming. One comes back or both? No, the other. There's a, that's only the one that ever comes back. Okay. The other two are gone completely. So there's a number of minutes that that transpire, and then she decides to come back. What is she asking for now? The manager. She wants her more. She just asked for the card. So our server gets her the manager's card, and she's blasted that all over social media. So we think that's enough. She's not done. She's right there leaving. She comes back. No, she's not done. She's now, her intent is to live Facebook this, along with the manager's oh, card. This so now she's actually back. coming back again. Wow. Okay. So we got people here. She's this trying to see. How she's long has it been? Look right at this lady's like, how long do we got to wait? Catherine's grabbing menus to she's seat right. the people next in line. She's right there. She's probably flustered at this point. She's been chewed out. She's been <laughs> accused of being a racist. Um, all kinds of who knows. 
exact words. And she's still trying to hold it together, run this business like a champ. You can see her. She's come back. You see her. She's talking. right there. Yeah. She's talking to Catherine. She's back inside. Miss Pratter. Didn't Catherine motion for her to leave? Yeah, she said you're free to leave. So she seats these guys. Customers are. She's still in the restaurant at this moment. Um, He's just here. Doing her Facebook film. So she has like a 15 minute Facebook. I uh, can't see her. Live. She's still inside at the front door. It's, it's hard to see her. So there's several people waiting. You can see her, I think, Maybe in this one. On. She's right there. You can see the skirt. Yeah. So look, we got more customers coming in. It's 8.30 at night. You know, they're still busy, busy, busy Saturday. And it's a small place. How many seats total, Joel? 60. We're on 10 tables. She's right there. And now she's on the phone with the police. Catherine, is, she's not leaving. She's been asked to leave. She's still she trying to provoke us. Right here. Right there. Is that the sushi chef? Yes, it is. So that's Stephanie, one of our female sushi chefs. Outside. Now left, she's left her station of making food on a busy Saturday night because she's concerned about what's going on. About the safety so, of her manager. Her sushi. little tiny five so foot, wait, that, ninety-five pounds. So a sushi chef had left her station. Can you back that up? Yeah. You'll see her again. Just keep going. Just keep the manager keep wants going. to take it outside because we're packed. The so woman is speaking. Chef. The sushi chef's now standing at the front door. She's watching Catherine. You don't see Miss Pratter, but this you can shadow, see shadow you'll see because she comes into. So there's quite a bit of distance. Is... They they never actually get very no. close until Miss Pratter actually comes right charging there. back, and you're about to see that soon. Catherine's on the phone trying to get the police here. Um, so the sushi chef were completely slammed. She would be working her brains out, but she's not allowed to work because she's got to be careful. She's not allowed. She's allowed. This is well, what she, she is. Tried. She's she protecting her, her little manager. Her she did this. Facebook live video is going on right now. She's going to make her production. Mm. Now again, for, for Fox 2 who wasn't here, it. the claim is that the manager assaulted the either that woman or all three of the women. There's never any physical conduct contact whatsoever. It's completely uh, inaccurate. And the video shows that. Clearly. Where's the manager now? Right she's down here. You can see she's staring right at her. And Miss Prater over there. There's so they're separate. Shadow. They're separate, both on their phones. Is it possible something happened though? Where no, you can see they're, they're nowhere near each other. Is there another altercation or something? Yeah. Oh, just the, kind of the tail end here. We'll tell the story yeah. and it's over. Another couple. So I think if there was an altercation going on at this point, the sushi chef obviously would have come over. Well, and face back live would have caught it, right? Yeah. Yeah, she's been Facebook living for the last 10 minutes or something, 15 minutes, whatever it is. Okay, so here she starts to come in. Because Miss Pratter's coming back. Right, she comes back at her here. And is your manager here on, is she on the phone with police at the yes. time? Yes. And here comes my customer coming in, and here comes the cutoff to try to get her. She to wants to Facebook finish. live for her. her life at that point. And she pretty much did. And that's it. And then she leaves. And then that's it. Then the police show up. And she has the police on her Facebook Live, so right. we don't need to show go into that. So that's basically it. You can so see the whole everything back full again. Yeah, all tables are taken. Remember, the claim is that there's lots of empty tables.